Welcome to another episode of Quick Medicine. In this episode, we talk about peptic ulcer disease. Peptic ulcers are areas of tissue destruction that can be caused by increased acid and pepsin, or impaired mucosal defenses such as decreased bicarbonate secretion. They're normally found either in the stomach or in the duodenum. One of the most important causes to peptic ulcer disease is H. pylori, which can be detected with urea breath testing using carbon-13 or 14. NSAIDs is another important cause of peptic ulcer disease, as are corticosteroids. Other contributing factors to peptic ulcer disease include alcohol and tobacco use. One of the most important clinical manifestations in peptic ulcer disease is pain, an epigastric burning sensation which is exacerbated after eating in gastric ulcers, whereas in duodenal ulcers, eating relieves pain. Nausea or bloating can also occur, as could upper GIT hemorrhage, and blood may also be found in stool. In chronic cases, this may present as anemia in patients. Vomiting and weight loss are less common occurrences. Some of the diagnostic methods that can be used include X-ray of the abdomen to allow possible perforation and blood count to measure hemoglobin level in case of anemia. The most important diagnostic methods are endoscopy and biopsy of the ulcer to rule out any possibility of cancer. H. pylori testing should also be conducted to detect and eliminate the organism. In mild disease, treat with bismuth or misoprostol for mucosal protection and proton pump inhibitors or H2 antagonists for decreasing acid secretion. For H. pylori, give amoxicillin, chlorothromycin and omeprazole to eliminate the organism. Complications that can occur include hemorrhage, perforation and gastric outlet obstruction. That concludes this episode of Quick Medicine. Thank you for watching.